Hot new trend for foodies in the city. We're talking about fusion food. Fox News' Anna Gilligan shows us some of the city's restaurants that are combining those cuisines. Peanut butter and jelly, tomato and basil. You can't have one without the other. But Indian and Latin, or French and Mexican? I found some unusual fusion restaurants mixing just those flavors, starting with Epizote on the Upper East Side. Castino, thanks oh, for having thank me. Oh, thank you for coming. Quick history lesson, the French occupied Mexico back in the 1800s, and they influenced their cuisine as a result. We want something. We want techniques, how to cook, how to eat. Today, Chef Agostino is mixing those French cooking techniques with traditional Mexican flavors. You can see the fusion when he makes his duck confit taquitos. I use uh, apples in cranberry compote, which is French technique. And I use cilantro, fresh onions, and uh, of course, epazote. Epazote is not only the name of the restaurant, it's also an old-fashioned herb used in Mexico. Epazote is uh, it's between the basil and a uh, mint. It has very unique flavor. Back to the fusion. When Chef Agostino makes veal tacos, he braises the meat, which is a French technique, but uses Mexican beer, not wine. Now, this is one of their featured dishes. It looks like a standard goat cheese salad, but it's coated with chili, so it's shockingly spicy when you bite into it and really delicious. Paired with a truffle vinaigrette and a watermelon radish, the heat is balanced, and so are the French and Mexican ingredients. Indian and Latin flavors are another unexpected combination, but that's exactly what they mix at the Vermilion restaurant. It's not only spices, it's explosion of flavors. Chef Anu Patwal says Indian and Latin doesn't have to mean eye-watering spicy food, but he always packs in the flavor, like with his tandoori skirt steak. In India, people don't eat beef, but over here we take the Argentinian cut of meat, which is churrasco and we put our Indian spices in it. And in addition to the turf, they also have the surf with dishes like tamarind shrimp. In India, tamarind is, is a very important sauce. It's basically a sweet and sour food. Then there's the chipotle scallops mixed with Indian spices and served over a pumpkin puree. And they even fuse Indian and Latin flavors with their naan bread. We can do garlic naan, ginger naan, cheese naan, spinach naan. Next time you can't decide what type of food to eat, try a fusion restaurant and eat a few kinds of food together. You may be pleasantly surprised. Anna Gilligan, Fox 5 News.